Welcome to, to take two of Kyle's Corner represent on the subject of O-Line U with Johnny and Carlos. Thank you, thank you very much. Very much to the audience and the camera crew. Yes, uh, thank you very much. We will all talk about take one, take one was an, a was an absolute travesty, but I'll make sure to make this a lot more better. Now, we'll get right into the segment. I am here with interviewing Johnny and Carlos on O-Line U. I've been suggested this idea, and I say, hey, bring out two two top football players from, from our team, and uh, I want to have a chat with them on this subject. So what do you think of O-Line U, and what is it about? Uh, O-Line U is just about everything in general, like just being an O-Lineman. That's what O-Line U stands for. Uh, the bluff in itself is O-Line U, the definition of it. O-Line University, we produce... The best guys out in corporate is yearly. Uh, give a good round of applause to Coach Rogers and Coach Dion this year for having the best O line ever. You know what I mean? So this is O line U. Which is why y'all made made it past regionals and beat vets, which is the first time we ever done. So that that that's a really good improvement on our part uh, on as an organization and as a school itself. So hey, props to that. And since both of y'all are key offensive linemen, now I want to go back, trace it back to your freshman year. How was it in your first time being on the freshman team? Like, how was your first experience as a high school football player back, like, when you started playing for us? Uh, coming in freshman year, uh, uh, I didn't think I was going to be O-line. I didn't want to be. I didn't want to do nothing with it, but... Uh, Freshman year coming in, played, uh, what did I play? Center, center and, <clears throat> and DT and... So you were um, a dual position type? Yes. Uh, and uh, Carlos, were you dual position as well? Yeah, like freshman year I came in, I was like, <clears throat> I played like running back and a linebacker in middle school, so... I was thinking I was going to play there when I got there. And I just played D-line. Like, oh. Running back? Oh, my God. I that You you almost remind me of... The way you look built, you almost remind me of Vita Veda when he had... A, he had tremendous... He had a tremendous look at running backs. Uh, everybody go to Vita Veda. He's a D... The D, the D tackle. He has... He was playing running back in high school. And he was playing like Derrick Henry. Um, Like, uh, he would just go out or... Base. Wow, I, I mean, he impressed me. But uh, you can't remind me of Vita Veda when you kind of uh, said ha half back. That that that's very cool. That's very cool. Uh, so what made y'all stick with offensive line as your key positions? It was the best way to get college offers. <laughs> really, <laughs> if I if I didn't have to play a line, then I, I probably wouldn't. But yeah, I mean, that's the that's the position I'm best at. So. so all right, all right. So, um, how were the coaches? How were how did the coaches train y'all to become a top tier of offensive lineman overall? Well, I mean, you can see the work by oh. what we did this season. Okay. Yes, I went to pretty much all of y'all, all of y'all's home games. It was tremendous work for the most part, and it was it was really good. It was really good overall. Uh, I didn't. I won't say we had. Uh, stellar offensive line played the whole season, but the whole season you knew we were going to come ready to work every game. Yes, I came to y'all's practices, and just to inform you, I am kind of a coach, so I, I mean, well, a little bit of um, Steinbrook's, a um, little, little bit of assist, assist and trying to learn. I'm actually working on being an NFL head coach someday and winning a Lombardi. That I'm, I, that I actually stuck to football. My uncle kind of got me into it. I actually like football as a sport. Actually, the uh, position I actually wanted to play was actually a type of, actually a blocking position that besides offense linemen, that would have been a fullback. I actually thought about playing fullback, actually. So I'm, I'm, I'm all into offensive line and stuff like that. Now we'll go into another segment. Who did y'all really lo like? Like who? Like what players uh, kind of got you inspired? Like what players do you idolize? Like from college to NFL, and what and which criteria? Like any position, just a player in general that I idolize. Yes. Uh. Idolize growing up. Let's see. Idolize growing up, it was uh Michael Vick for sure. Michael Vick, yes. Hey, Michael Vick, generational piece of talent, right there. I, should he be a Hall of Famer? Uh, you know what? 
I mean, it, it's kind of 50-50, but he could make it in there just, just for being the best running quarterback of all, all time. If Lamar Jackson did not steal it. <laughs> so, um, who did you idolize as an NFL Which NFL player do you, did you idolize, Carlos? Uh, the man was like Payne Manning and uh, that's really it, like Payne Manning. Alright. So, alright, so that's it. So it's nice. So, uh, now, your work ethic. How well did uh, Coach Rogers and Coach Diaz do with the O line? Do you think they did a very respectful job doing so? Yeah, I, like. Everybody know like the O line had the worst practices. Even even a D line can tell you that like we had like even when we went to Indy, most people like at Indy they didn't really do nothing. We was like doing sprints, doing drills, like O line we was like dogging all the year. Well, offensive line, I don't look for s speed so much. I just look for good awareness and good blocking. I don't really care about speed. Um Football, they always said, oh yes, let's let's go mad. Let's go into a Madden criteria and just go speed, speed, speed. No, I want you to actually pay attention and know what you're doing instead of being um, Usain Bolt for five seconds. So, and Johnny, I actually want to talk about the, the, the big cast on your arm. Did you, uh, like, how well did the trainers get what you're healing? Like, uh, did, they, did they do a good job healing your arm to a, a good extent? Uh... Uh, they kept it well protected. Uh, Trainer Shrugal kept it well protected, well protected during the games practices. Always made sure I had all the tape or wrap that I needed for it. Uh, asked me how it felt every day. Uh, they treated it well, really well for me to stay in a semi-healthy position for me to still play. Yeah, actually, you know, speaking of that, I actually saw your Virginia, your Virginia Tech. Your Virginia Tech, so yeah. So yeah, Virginia Tech. I actually saw where they said your three-star recruit, pretty good recruit coming in. Um, they said the. I mean, I mean, this is what I was kind of shaking my head. They said, "Oh, the cast really just hurt." Uh, I'm. Uh, the the cast is only a one-year thing. I'm pretty sure you're gonna just going out there and just being a very good offensive lineman. So what two offensive types? So if. Can you name two Hall of Fame offensive linemen do you want to be like? Name two. Okay, you name one and you name the other. <laughs> uh, you're not a Hall of Famer, but like the offensive lineman I look up to like is like Larry Allen, just because of his like. Larry season. Allen. Yeah, that's that's a really nice one. You, Johnny? Uh, to be honest, I really don't want to be like anybody. Hmm. I want to be myself and. I don't want people to look up for them to be like me. I just want them to be better than what I did. I am. Um, I I agree on that. I agree on that. I mean, it's always good to be the best, but also, I, I like your answer, Johnny. I really like your answer. And to even put on a final touch of this, I actually want to ask you what and if you even do if you go past college and if you make it if you qualify for the NFL draft and. In four years, which will be the twenty either the twenty two twenty six and twenty twenty seven NFL draft, which teams do you want to be selected by? I just want to get selected. I'm saying. Yeah. I don't even care. <laughs> All right, that's nice to be. But here are y'all answers. And, I mean, and, um, since we're going on offensive line topic, we'll go go with. Evan Neal, best offensive line coach. I say I actually gotta. I say he's gonna go first overall to Jacksonville Jaguars because uh, because he is the number one all the offensive tackle. They need to protect Trevor Lawrence. Always protect your quarterback at all costs. And that's all I always say. All right, all right, and that is a wrap overall. And thank you. This is what we got. <laughs> Even though speed running all the way through, I tried. <laughs>